hey everyone welcome to my channel this is elizabeth marie and i am back with another video and today i'm actually doing a diy on backdrops um now i have an etsy shop so this could be for etsy this can be for you know a business in general that has to put up like display pictures and things like that it can be for blogs it can be for instagram pictures or anything you can think of that requires you to have some kind of a background to neatly display your your items that you're trying to show off um all right so at first i as you can see uh, i have a tray here and then i have underneath it that's this tray sitting on is my craft table so don't Pay any mind to that, this is a craft table. It is meant to be dirty. And yeah, it, it gets pretty darn dirty and I don't have any intention of making it look neat. However, when I first thought about, you know, my backgrounds and everything, I didn't really think about it too much. And I actually recently was suggested that to have a brighter background on my shop, my products that I have on there. And what I was using was this craft table. That's the card table, uh, but it's my craft table. And what I did, you can see it's dirty. So no, I did not, you know, sh show the dirtiness. But what I did was I just brought it up on Photoshop and then I took the pictures and then I would pretty much blur out the background so you cannot even tell that it is a dirty craft table. Um, it just is very blurred and you can't really tell what it is that's on and it's dark. So I took their suggestion into consideration and I ended up coming up with getting some contact paper or I guess contact paper is what I wanted to call it, but I guess it's really, I don't know. <laughs> wallpaper adhesive paper decorative wallpaper whatever when I purchased it I purchased it on Amazon I actually bought two I bought a marble and I bought this white wood Let's see. wrote it down here white gray wood decorative paper and actually looked at it before I filmed this video and I decided to go with the wood one it just the marble was actually too shiny and I'm glad I bought both because I probably would have ended up choosing the marble just to get the marble and say eh, never mind and that's because when I go to take my pictures you'll see the light shining on that background and with the wood one it does not so yes okay so what I have here is a tray. I don't know if this is plastic or metal or, let me see real quick. I got a magnet. <laughs> okay, I don't think it's metal. That was one of my, my kids homemade magnet. All right, so yeah, it's not metal. It is, I'm assuming plastic, but I went with the tray because I wanted to have something that I could, you know, go ahead, take the pictures really quickly and then store it someplace really quick. And I also wanted to be able to hold things that I actually needed. So like maybe like my planner or whatever, my old planner that I don't use anymore because it's, you know, not 2019 anymore, but I use whatever months I didn't get to use as to take pictures of my new designs and display them for you guys. So I needed, I wanted some, I wanted to be extra, okay? At the end of the day, I just want to be extra. I'm extra. You really could use whatever you have at home. You could have took cardboard, a part of a cardboard box and put this pa <laughs> decorative paper on it. You could have took a chalkboard a whiteboard I have a whiteboard and that I'm not using anymore and I could have used it but 
I wanted to have something with handles and I wanted to have something where I could store stuff on it and store it easily somewhere. So yeah, I just wanted it to be difficult. You could definitely get this somewhere cheaper. I paid $20.99 for the tray on Amazon. And then I paid, let's see, I paid $6.79 for this decorative gray wood paper, adhesive paper. Here's the stickers, so but I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like after. Let me put that over here. But let me go ahead and get into this video because it's not gonna take too long and I don't want to keep rambling on because if you watch my videos before, you know I can most definitely do that. So how I want this to actually look, I don't want it to go this way because when I take my pictures, these are the largest stickers that I have in my Etsy shop, okay? Doing it like this, if I take photos, you're just gonna, you know, I don't like it that way because like, there's more space if I go that way around the uh, stickers. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to do it that way so that the wood is going across, the panels are going across instead of up and down. And the first thing I'm gonna do is measure my tray and have my Bear Bradley tape measure. I already know what size it is, but you know, you just have to double check. And the thing about this is, it doesn't have to be perfect. I did think about using my craft table, but then I was like, why would I do that just for it to get dirty again later? Because we really use this all the time. So six and a half, I mean, 16 and a half. I'm gonna say 11. It doesn't have to be perfect, but it's just as much as possible. So 16 and a half by 11. And like I said, I'm going this way. So I'm just gonna move this tray out the way real quick. And I think I need pencil or something of some sort. He said 11. It was a small side, so. And this, it said it was removable, so if you don't if you want to change it later, as a matter of fact, why not just put it on top of it, right? If you want to change it, they just put it on top of it, of the...
took me a while just because I wanted to not have any air bubbles. But like I said, I should have just took the back, backing off little by little because it's going to stick. But I was, it's removable, so it, I was able to correct it. If you were to go with something like a cardboard box or something and use that, you might not be able to re remove it like this because the type of material it is but yeah this is what it looks like i'm so excited to retake my pictures so let's just see how it looks if i were let's see let's see it this is not like my kit or anything i'm just just kind of taking a look. Oh yeah. You guys see that? Much better than that raggedy background I had before. So, if, if you if you purchase from my shop, which you probably don't because it's still new and I only have eight sales from three different people, um, but if you ever <laughs> stumble upon my shop, We'll see some new updated pictures soon. I'm so excited. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope I was able to, you know, help someone else out that might be having backdrop issues or just doesn't, nothing, nothing seems to work. Nothing like I, I, I have a very small house, so the reason why I didn't want to just do like a full on backdrop, one, I'm not a photographer. So I don't want to buy a bunch of lights. I don't want to buy a bunch of junk just to take up a whole bunch of room. That's why I needed something to store this away very easily. And this is going to do it. See, like I said, like you see right in here, it's not perfect. It's not perfect at all. But you can't tell once I go and take these pictures. Now, can you? It looks professional, right? It looks so much better. If you guys have not seen my Etsy shop, please check it out. Look down below. Look at what the photos look like right now. Today is July 14th so of 2020. So if you take a look anytime between now and... I want to say maybe two weeks from now it'll still be the same because I still gotta I have time to take up uh, make the photos and everything and upload them but yes the process is going to be so much faster I don't have to upload Photoshop and everything like that I can literally take it on my phone and upload it on my phone and everything so I hope you guys enjoy I will link down below all the materials that are used or purchased from Amazon so you guys can, if you want to purchase it yourself. Have any questions, let me know down below, you guys. Make sure you hit the subscribe button. Make sure you give it a big fat thumbs up. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you. Bye.